We're going to look at using the BitTorrent client service that is included with Buffalo Terror Stations. We're going to be using it on the 5000 series today. So what we're going to do is we're going to go log into our Terror Station first and go to the file sharing section. We're going to create a new folder share that we're going to set up just a standard share and I'm actually going to turn the trash can service off. So I'm going to go to create a folder and I'm just going to name this BitTorrent. I'm going to disable the recycle bin as I, I frankly we don't really need this and I'm going to leave SMB enabled and AFP enabled in case I want to access this and do any manual maintenance through the Finder or the Windows Explorer and then I'll hit OK. It's going to create that share and it's going to be ready for us to set our torrent to download all of the torrents into this share. It's called BitTorrent. So then you're going to go to applications and we're going to select BitTorrent. Just going to go into the edit services box and click edit. And here it's going to have us select the download folder and I'm going to put this into my BitTorrent area. And the manual port we can set here. So it's already default at 9090. I'm going to go ahead and leave that. If you wanted to set it to something else you could. This port is used for accessing locally or you need to know the port if you want to be able to access this remotely. Either your iOS app, your Android app, or just getting hitting it from maybe a laptop that's remote. You can set up some port forwarding in your router and be able to do all your torrent managing while you're away. So once we have that going, I'm going to hit OK. It's going to go ahead and save those settings to our configuration file. And then we can turn the service on just by hitting this button here. It's going to turn it to blue and then we'll go back into our settings area where it has open download manager which you can bookmark the download manager for future use if you want when you get to here if you've never opened it before it's going to require you to put in the username and password the default username and password is username admin all lowercase and the password is blank you don't put anything in the password field that'll get you logged in what you can do afterwards is go to this gearbox here. It's going to open up automatically to web UI where you can change the default password and add in whatever you want it to be. And then we can hit apply or OK. So see here now it's going to take me entering a password in order to get into it. Now that we have that going we need to actually get a torrent going. So you can do it one of two ways. If you've already downloaded a .torrent file you can use this first button here to upload a .torrent file to your Terra station and then it will use that file to be able to download the torrent. Or if you know the URL you can click on this link. So I'm going to look for the CentOS torrent links. And CentOS always keeps a mirror of its torrents up so that way you can quickly grab them. I'm going to just copy the link location. It's my second link here which is the torrent URL. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in and hit OK. And it'll take just a moment. It's going to download that .torrent file to a directory on the Terra Station. Then it's going to utilize it and download your torrent. So you'll see here now it's going to queue it up. My download speed, obviously, just like with a torrent, it's going to queue up all the different static magnet links and have a go. Now, you can always navigate directly to your Terra Station. And we'll refresh, and we have a BitTorrent directory. I'm going to go inside of there. You'll see that it's going to create a directory called BitTorrent. So if you have just a normal share and you didn't want to make a whole new directory like I did, I like to keep it separate sometimes, then it would create a BitTorrent directory in your normal share and all of it will be managed through there. So I can hop into BitTorrent and you'll see where it downloads the .torrent files, which it's downloading here, and where it's going to keep those active downloads going. So this is where my downloads are. This is where those DVD ISOs will be placed. So you can also go into the gearbox and go into the settings for your bandwidth control. If you want to set your maximum upload, if you want to set your download limits, so that way you're not sucking down all the download, all your bandwidth on your ISP, uh, you can go ahead and set those here. If you want to set up a scheduler, if you want to set up queuing, uh, just your standard tools that come with uh, a standard BitTorrent client. You can you have a lot of control in here and you can set those settings yourse yourself however you want. So that's how you get those onto your Terra station and remotely managed and you can do that on a on anything that uses a browser. So this is going to work on, on anything with a web browser. You could even use if you set this up remotely and do the port forwarding, you could even just go into the web browser and not even download one of our apps on your smartphone and go ahead and manage this. That's it. Just let us know if you need any help.